Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're going to review the Comfort Line Air Source Heat Pump range. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so there are lots and lots of different models of air source heat pump on the market. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the Comfort Line range, which is available in the UK and Europe. And it's actually the model that I have on my own hot tub. So I can look at the specs and then I can actually review this for you with personal experience as well. So the Comfort Line actually comes in several different sizes of heating capacity from seven kilowatts right up to 24 kilowatts. The Comfort Line models are inverted so they're able to operate from 20% capacity right up to 100% and they're intelligent enough to be able to adjust the power needs to give the desired heat output. So it's a bit different from a low, a medium and a high setting for example. The, the comfort line and, and indeed any air source heat pump that is inverted will be able to run at say 23% rather than just a low speed because it knows that at that particular output you will get the desired heating capacity. So inverted means more efficient and it's obviously going to save you more money in the long run and that's really what it's all about with the air source heat pumps. So what other features does the Comfort Line have? Well the Comfort Line is one of the lower range or lower spec models that's available, but it's also one of the cheaper models. And that was, certainly was something that drew me towards it for my own tub. I didn't need all the bells and whistles. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit later on about some of the things that would be nice haves that the Comfort Line doesn't. It does have a titanium heat exchanger, which means that it's suitable for salt water as well. It's particularly quiet. And it's got a self defrost mode as well. So anything down to zero degrees C it, or 32F, it's actually able to, to defrost itself. The models are actually rated to zero degrees and you'll see that some of the other models on the market will have lower ratings than that so they can operate in colder temperatures. What this means is the comfort line isn't just gonna stop working at zero degrees. It means that it can't maintain the efficiencies that the manufacturer is putting out in the specifications at any low temperatures that are below zero or 32 degrees F. That's really what it means. So for me, it wasn't a, a consideration because it's, it's very rare that we actually get long periods of temperature that is actually below zero degrees where I am. Now for the money saving bits, the COP or the coefficient of performance. So this is basically the number that will explain how much energy is required to go into the heat pump to deliver the, the amount of heating out. So what do I mean? Well, a COP of nine basically means that for every one kilowatt that is delivered into that heat pump of electricity, it will give you nine kilowatts of heating capacity on the other side. So it's pretty good. Again, there are models out there that will have much higher COPs. I've seen COPs that have been advertised anything up to 13 or 15, which is, is pretty high indeed. Uh, but this, as I said, is a, a lower range model. It's a cheaper model and it has an advertised COP of nine. And finally, it comes with one and a half inch unions, which for us hot tub owners, that's great because we can just jump straight on one and a half inch pipe. There are a lot of models, certainly over here in Europe, that have uh, 50 millimeter connections, which are the, the regular swimming pool connectors. You just need to convert those. It's not a big deal, but it is quite nice to have a, a native one and a half inch union to be able to get into our hot tub plumbing. It's probably a good time to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Any questions, hit me in the comments. Always happy to hear from you. And again, really appreciate the view. So what are my findings with the unit itself? Well, let's start with the things that I really like. So for me, you would have seen if you've watched any of the previous videos, the money saving was a huge thing for me. I saved about 66% on my running costs with this unit. So really happy with that. I like the look, I like the simplicity, and I like the ease of installation. There was nothing complicated about the unit itself. 
In terms of being quiet, I would say it's actually quieter than the air conditioning unit for my office, which is next to the, the heat pump. So the air conditioning unit is a smaller unit, but it's also much louder than the heat pumps. I also like the simplicity of the controls. There's literally an, an on button, uh, there is an eco mode, uh, but really you're just turning the temperature up and down. And I really like that. Things that are simple, things that just work are so much easier in my opinion than big complicated menu systems that you've got to go through to get the setup that you're looking for. All I did on this unit was set the temperature, turn it on and give it some flow. So I turned the circulation pump on and it just works. It's really, really simple and easy to use. When it doesn't have a flow, it gives a flow error and it just waits. It just waits until it receives some more water going through it and then it will turn back on and heat up the water. So it's perfect to be controlled by a circulation pump on a hot tub, whether you're having a new build or whether you're retrofitting to your existing tub. So what are some of the things that the unit doesn't have that I would actually like? Well, firstly, you can only adjust the temperature by whole degrees C. So uh, there are a lot of units out there that will do half a degree and even tenths of, of degrees as well. So the comfort line, you can only do whole degrees. It's not a huge issue, um, but it would be nice if you, you, know, you could alter it to 38 and a half just to make that little bit of a difference. The fact that the unit doesn't have Wi-Fi for some could be an issue for me. It's not a huge problem. It would be a nice have to be able to, to adjust it down and adjust on my hot tub, the temperature down on the on the spa pack as well. So if you've watched the previous videos, I'm using the spa pack to control a circulation pump that then sends water through and that, that then basically turns the heat pump on and off just by flow. And what I found is when my hot tub is doing its cycles, it's filtering, it will, if I don't drop the temperature down on the air source heat pump, it will actually raise the temperature of the tub, which obviously cost me money in the running of the, uh, of, of the pump. So being able to control it with Wi-Fi would be a nice have, but again, you're gonna be jumping up a, a price point. So with the comfort line, it's very much a, a I'll call it a budget model, and it, it's definitely at the lower range of the price points. But for the features that you're getting, I think it's really, really good value. And certainly for me, it's, uh, it's saved me a whole bunch of money. So hope you found this review useful. I'll keep it short and sweet. If I can help you with adding a air source to your own hot tub, hit me up in the comments, always happy to help. If you need a comfort line air source heat pump, more than happy to supply you one. So please, again, get in touch either via the website, buildahottub.com or in the comments below, and I can certainly help you with that. As always, I really appreciate the view. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.